Hello YouTube and welcome to my new toy review. This time let's take a look at this forearms action figure from Ben 10. A couple of days ago I came across him on eBay and I thought he looked sort of cool, so I wanted to pick him up. But I didn't know what to expect since I couldn't find any reviews about this figure online. Now let's talk about articulation. Unfortunately this figure is not as well articulated as I expected. Unfortunately these arms are not on a ball joint as I expected them to be. And that hinders the articulation quite a lot. Well you may have noticed that he has cuts on the upper arms on each arm. You would think they would swivel, no they don't. None of the arms do swivel, but all of the arms bend. And as you bend it, you will notice that the arm kind of gets out of its socket and elongates, allowing a perfect 90 degrees angle for each arm. And that's because you can put the arms together and have him in this position. You can do this with the smaller arms too, but in case of the smaller arms, if you bend them, they won't automatically come out of their socket, so you have to pull them out and then bend them, and that will allow you to have the 90 degrees and, and to push the peg in the peg hole and have the arms stuck together like this. Now, why would you want to do that? I did some research uh, on Google and I found some pictures of this toy hanging off of straps of backpacks. So I'm guessing, and this is just a guess here since I don't have the box and I don't have any of the instructions for this toy, and please correct me if you do, but I'm guessing this toy is uh, sort of like a coin, coin purse or something for a little kid and you can secure it on your backpack like this and have your money inside or whatever you want inside and if in this position if you press this button it will stay in and it also has another button on this side you can press it and it will stay in. And what this does is it secures the arms in this position. So now you can't move the elbows at all. You can still separate them though, but you can't move the elbows. You will break them if you do. So, and you can't push uh, the upper arm in anymore. So really what it does is secure this position so that it won't let go and won't fall off, I guess. And if you take the key and put it in, these buttons jump out too. So now you can put the arms back in the position, any position that you want. And this is what it looks like hanging from the strap of a backpack. Sort of a weird action feature if you ask me. I mean, I would have liked a figure this size with better articulation, better posability, and maybe no action features, but unfortunately we didn't get that. So that's about the articulation on the arms. Well, the head does not rotate or do anything. You have sort of decent articulation on the legs, however. They can bend outward this much, go back and forth quite easily. You have a double hinged knee, which is nice, but only has about this much rotation. So it really was not necessary to have it on a double hinge. There's an there's a tie cut so you can rotate the legs. It's really tight but it helps with some poses. 
because you don't have any ankle articulation at all. So dynamic poses are not that easy to achieve, but you can do it if you are patient enough. So posability is not that great. I have to admit I expected something a little bit better, but hey, at least he can do the Attack on Titan salute pose. That's not so bad. Paint job I think it's quite decent. I like the face. I have to mention that on the back you see a lot of screws and a lot of screw holes. I'm really not sure why um, such a figure needs so many screws in it. Why couldn't they just make it with less screws? I mean really it just looks terrible from the back so but whatever you have this gigantic keyhole here don't expect a really nicely sculpted back here he comes with this key if you insert this key you can open this chest compartment well i'm not sure if this has any significance uh, with the cartoon um, i don't really think so I'm not even sure what the function of this is. Maybe you can put some change in it or I don't know, or, or a message or a little piece of paper or something. Uh, it's definitely not a big compartment. Uh, I have to mention if you lose the key, don't worry because basically anything that can fit inside this hole will open. So it's not a keyhole really, it's just a hole that you need to turn so you can turn it with whatever you can fit inside like the end of a spoon or something when i first saw this figure i thought he would look cool with my other six inch figures as some kind of hawk level monster or something and i think he does uh, i think he fits quite well and i really like him in this collection Unfortunately, I don't have a big Hulk figure uh, to go with him, but uh, I'm planning to get one and because I think they would look really cool fighting battles and stuff. So for me, it was definitely worth getting this figure. Granted, I don't know much about Ben 10. It's definitely not a show I've grown up with, but still, I really like the character Forearms. I think he's a very cool looking alien dude. He kind of reminds me of the aliens from the Invincible comic series from Image Comics, especially Alan. Maybe it's just the feet, because Alan has the same kind of two toes on his feet. And uh, Alan is one of my favorite characters from the Invincible comics, so that was probably a huge factor in me picking up this figure. The toys are very sturdy, you don't have to be afraid of breaking them or anything like that, so that's also a big plus. And the figures look pretty cool, so even though if you are not a fan of the show or don't know much about Ben 10, I think you would agree with me that these are really cool looking and fun action figures to have. So if you like them, I recommend you to pick them up. They don't demand high prices and they are easy to find, so it's a win-win. Thank you for watching my review. Stay tuned for more and goodbye.